What is up, guys? It is Zach Cloche, and it has been a while since I made a video. The reason being, if you haven't heard, on January or sorry, on February 24th of 2020, Russia invaded Ukraine, and I was living in the capital. That was uh, quite the experience. On the very first day, I woke up. I heard. I woke up to the sound of my Ukrainian video editor and cousin-in-law calling me saying, hey, Russia's invading. And uh, there were also sirens blaring at the time, which is probably the first reason I woke up. And then about five minutes after that, I woke up, I was like, holy shit, shit's going down. I woke up my family and uh, we <laughs> like five minutes after that, I heard an ex another explosion outside that was apparently Russia bombing one of the airports nearby. On that very day, uh, I kind of broke my I'm going to make 100 videos this year streak uh, in order to protect the asses of myself and my family and figure out what the hell we're going to do while we're in the war. Uh, so that's when I stopped. I lived in a shelter for about a month and a half before returning back to my normal home when there were still sirens blaring every day. That was something. And then when things kind of calmed down at around the month and a half to the three month point, um, I finally, well, I say finally, uh, I managed to leave Ukraine and go to America once again. Uh, since then, I've been kind of recovering from a lot of that stuff, as well as some other life stuff, and was just handling a few business things that I needed to take care of. One of them was upgrading my technical equipment, which is a lot harder to do in Ukraine, even more so when there's a war there. So I got my fancy camera. I got my fancy microphone. When I say fancy, I just mean my Logitech Brio, which is an amazing webcam that also records in 4K. Right now, it's looks like it's maybe not recording in 4K, but its quality is pretty good at the moment. Um, so yeah, as well as some other business and tax stuff in the yeah, handling a lot of business stuff here. So I haven't quite had or uh, uh, making YouTube videos didn't make sense for me to do for a while. And now uh, I feel like I'm finally back at a point and have recovered enough uh, from those previous events, which uh, for Ukraine and for myself at the time and for many of my friends and family, was and is a pretty awful experience in all of that stuff that is happening there that the Russian invaders and the damage that they're causing uh, is one, every single bad thing that you've seen is true, uh, at least most of them, if not all of them. Um, most of the things that you've seen on the internet about the events happening there are very much true uh russia is definitely the bad guy here it's pretty hopefully obvious to most people um there is a lot of struggle and suffering happening because of them and the fact that it's happening kind of makes me want to throw up or that and it made me back then i was pretty scared for my life at a lot of moments during that um i won't go into details right now but yeah it was not a very <laughs> Fun time during the war. Uh, the previous time I spent in Ukraine was amazing. Ukrainian people are literally the best people that I've ever met. The strongest, most welcoming, most warm, uh, kind. So many good things about them. Uh, just people that I've ever met. And as a community, it's was pretty inspiring compared to what I've seen in just the general... Uh, I don't want to say... Mm, I would say just how they like view things and how they view other Ukrainian people in their community. It's very, uh, it was very inspiring. It is still inspiring just how strong that they can be. And um, yeah, it was, it was something else. <laughs> uh, the, the uh, anyways. Yeah. So I've been a bit busy with that or with uh, going through that and then experiencing or basically recovering and getting my business and family stuff organized uh, in order to make an even bigger impact on 
uh, the world and people and help just develop this world and hopefully support Ukraine as much as I can in whatever way I can. There's been a lot of things happening. Uh, I've developed a, in a lot of ways on the business side, uh, some ways in the coding side. I'm still mostly teaching people for income right now, as well as building a few side or a, a few projects. And uh, making music is something new, as well as learning a lot about business strategy and management and outsourcing at the moment. Um, yeah. I want to get back into teaching and sharing my experience and my knowledge on YouTube for people to view uh, YouTube and other platforms, of course. And uh, yeah, I finally have a kind of a refreshed strategy on how to do so. Uh, so with the help of my Ukrainian friends and uh, a lot of even my new American friends and my family in both of these places, uh, I want to keep making an impact and helping people through my YouTube channel videos and other business efforts that I'm also working on. Yeah, I also just wanted to say that uh, while the media isn't quite covering it as much as it was uh, when the war started, there is still a war in Ukraine. Russia is still invading and trying to take territory, killing people and doing a lot of what's called war crimes, but really are just awful acts that I'm surprised can even still happen during these modern times in 2022. Uh, atrocities is like a light word for what's happening there. Yeah, it's currently July 12th as I make this video and uh, shit's still bad there. While there was like the Johnny Depp trials, the whatever else, the Will Smith thing, and I don't even know what's like the new thing now. But um. Yeah, she was fucked and it still is. And anyways, I'm saying this because uh, Ukraine does still need help. And um, it looks like I'm currently reworking on a pro uh, nonprofit project that I started when the war was still going on. Uh, or sorry, when the war first started, because it is still going on. And um, uh, in order to kind of show help many people, Americans wherever uh know where where and how they can donate to ukraine because a lot of people understand there's a war going on they want to help but they might not really know the best way to do it and uh, quite frankly even in ukraine there's a, a lot of the ways for support and like uh understanding which organizations to donate to to have a an effect on something just to make sure that you're not really donating to the Red Cross or some of these companies that don't always have the best reputation for things. Uh, uh, what, that's one of the ways that people can help is by donating to the right organizations and knowing which ones those are is important. So um, I'm kind of working. I'm, I just finally got the availability in kind of the mental space to be able to do things like one record on my channel and get my own marketing and, uh, try to support my family and my home country, which was America. Now it's Ukraine. Well, I do still have many family here. I still perceive my home as being there as long as, uh, as well as with the people of this amazing country that doesn't deserve the shit that's happening to it. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what I've been up to. I'm going to be making some new YouTube videos quite soon. And, uh, on more coding topics, maybe um, to go out diving deeper into my experience about the war, uh, probably a few directions. And also, um, well, yeah, that's actually the main stuff. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry if you were wanting more videos and I kind of just paused for a while. It was for good reason, I assure you. So with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. And uh, for following my journey. Uh, keep Ukraine, please, in your hearts and minds. And uh, look forward to that project that I'm going to continue working on. I might leave a link just so you guys can understand uh, what it is on the top part of my description down below. So um, I'll leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. Love Ukraine. Slava Ukraini. And bye for now.